Now, we know that uh, Suella Brabman was condemned the other day for trying to, well, for housing children in hotels. That's wrong. And her Illegal Migration Act, uh, which became law, is stymied because of a legal question about her Rwanda aspect. And now the buying of tents for asylum seekers, as she's apparently bought tents to house up to 2,000 migrants on disused military sites, but clearly not the site in Lincolnshire. And they to go up in the next few days and will be used in the next few weeks. And these will be for short periods for excessive demand by migrants. Exactly the same justification that was used for housing lone children in hotel rooms. And that's something that, of course, was rejected by the courts. Now, Lord Falconer, uh, who was a Labour Home Secretary, has said that it is completely wrong and probably illegal to house refugees in tents, other than for an emergency lasting a few days. The law imposes, he says, minimum standards and permanent accommodation, and tents simply don't meet those standards. The Prime Minister are, uh, and, and the Home Secretary, Suella Brabman, are clearly um, inspired in their law-breaking, he says, by reading the polls and listening to focus groups from the Red Wall. And they've decided they want the uh, uh, UK to get a grip on illegal migration and to push the limits of the law. But we made commitments to refugees fleeing persecution, seeking our help. We made promises under the 1951 Refugee Convention and other international agreements that we haven't withdrawn from. And those commitments form the bedrock of the culture of our country. We play by the rules of fairness and of honesty and of law. We don't we, we, we don't subscribe to the traditions of bullying and the traditions of cheating and the traditions of testing the limits of the law. That isn't our tradition. But it seems to be what Suella Brabman wants to define as our new tradition and we are going to look extremely foolish in a very short space of time. It doesn't take long to destroy a reputation that has been built up over decades. A reputation for being honest, for being upright, for being trustworthy. It doesn't take long to destroy that. And Suella Bravman is well on the way to doing so with her indifference to law. And simply because she runs around the place claiming that she's a lawyer, doesn't mean that she understands the law and doesn't mean that she respects the law and those are two different concepts. I don't think she understands the law first of all but I certainly don't think she respects the law. What she respects is political advantage and I don't think that Britain will tolerate this inhumanity for much longer. I don't think it's about a general election. I think it's about uh, a, a recognition that our politics are going downhill. And I don't think it matters how long Rishi Sunak waits to call a general election. I think he and Suella Brabman are going to learn from the noise made by people across the United Kingdom that this isn't who we are.
This isn't who we are. I could no sooner vote for these people than I could vote for uh, people in Russia at the moment. It's, it's that level of shock that I've had to deal with that, that I think these people are so abhorrent, the policies are so wrong, and they're pursued with such viciousness. And I don't believe that the Conservative Party was always the nasty party. This is, this is nonsense tribalism. The Conservative Party uh, has often been a very good party, as has the Labour Party, as has the Liberal Party. But I don't think these policies of viciousness to the vulnerable are policies that any other party um, should condone. The Labour Party needs to come out in opposition to this firmly, and the Liberal Party too, and independents, and those Conservatives who feel uncomfortable need to stand up against Suella Braverman, because I think the Conservative Party has to recognise Suella Braverman has destroyed any chance of election success. So the only thing to do now is to salvage some sort of moral... I was going to say some sort of moral high ground, but it's not that. Some sort of moral credibility. And if you don't stand against her, you're standing with her. And you will go down with the ship when the election comes.